A small group of high school boys flees from you, breath labored as you fly after them in a rage. Come to school after dark, he says. It'll be fucking fun, he says. The athletic boy at the head tosses him a carefree smile. Come on, Geo. Just think of the headlines. Small group of guys prove local legend is not only real, but also incredibly good at nailing people in the back of the head with pencil sharpeners. Yes, I love this. I love the pissed off ghost lady trying to murder us. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. Come on, we need to get to my locker. I know how to stop her. <laughs> That lady, could you knock it off with the fucking machine gun fire of sharp pencil? <laughs> Watch out, lads. She's trying to get those chains of hers under her feet. Jump rope protocol, activate. What are you talking about? You pursue them as they race down the halls. Only murder on your mind. So, uh, ma'am? I've heard you've been trapped here for over a hundred years. That sucks. Do you maybe want to, um, talk about it? You're only making that thing madder. How are you making what is essentially already 100% pure rage angrier? <laughs> My mom asked me that a lot too. Come on, my locker's just one hall over. What is the plan here? Take pictures? Record audio to prove she's real? Don't worry, good buddy. I got it all on lock. I just need to get my secret weapon from my locker, and then this spirit is gonna be chill. You flick out your chains once more and seize most of them. The tallest one manages to jump, but the others are thrown back behind you. Jordan! Hang on, guys. I just need to grab the secret weapon. He sprints forward while you turn your ire on the other three boys. Uh, 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 um, uh, the power of Christ compels you? He draws a crucifix and throws it at you. It sails through your incorporeal form and lands behind you. You give him a look. The boy smiles sheepishly. Okay, um, I didn't expect the crucifix to just sail right through you like that. Any chance you'll just let us live because we're cute, like, dumb puppies? <laughs> no, yeah, that's fair. I respect it. Jordan, for fuck's sake! This creature is about to end us! Hey! You turn and stare down the biggest boy of the lot. The boy steals himself and marches up to you. I got something to say to you, little Miss Vengeful Spirit. And you best be ready to listen, because I'm not going to repeat myself. You shriek at him again. The lockers slam rapidly around you as you prepare to unleash your fury on the pathetic mortal. I just got one thing to ask you, little missy. You freeze as he draws a bouquet from behind his back and holds it out to you. He smiles a big, dumb smile. I got you these blue roses. Will you go to prom with me? Are you fucking serious? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? You dragged us out here after dark to confront a vengeful spirit just so you could ask it out to prom! I think she prefers she. Is that right? Is that okay? Great! 
So, I'm Jordan. I don't know if you ever watch the football players, like, on the field or in the locker rooms. I don't judge, but I'm one of them. I noticed some of the writing on the walls about you, and I got curious. Then I saw the portraits of you, and I thought, you were super duper cute. And I wanted to get to know you better. No, 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 no. Those are my friends. Ex-friends? They're cool. A little spooked, but that's just because they don't know you yet. I think you could be really nice, though. You should hang out with us at lunch. Excuse me? Jordan smiles bashfully, color tinging his cheeks. I don't know if you can hold the bouquet or not, but I can totally put it somewhere nice for you. I just want to get to know you better and take you to prom. Is that okay? Hey! You can hold it! Awesome! You look really pretty holding it against your old gothic dress. Blue roses look really good against you too. It works cause I have this gothic old tuxedo my dad left me to wear. We'll look so goth that the real goths are gonna be so jelly. So, what do you think? Will you go with me? Yes! He spins around toward his especially dour friends. Guys, she said yes! I hate you. We're fucking leaving. Good luck with your weird girlfriend! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can be a little surly. Thanks for dumping them in the fountain and not, you know, dragging them up to the rafters to be torn apart by a million shadow hands. He pauses as you nervously glance above you. Is... Is that a real thing that can happen? Uh, right. I'd best head off then, I guess. This place is starting to feel a bit more... Uh, active. But hey, I'd still really like to have lunch with you tomorrow. Do you think you could maybe join us? Great! Hey, I'll see you tomorrow, Chains. With that, he turns and leisurely jogs off as the old school seems to lower its hackles around you. To be. <laughs>